Hi and welcome. Let me just change my clothes. Do I need to? I'm recording this in the same day. Hello and welcome to another video. I'm filming two in a row because I need to upload them. So it's my April TBR. I've kind of given up on doing TBRs, but I do have some TBRs. I've mentioned in my March wrap up that I'm currently reading two books. One of them I have to finish for school and is Muriel Convent by Vesel Mago. I won't go into much detail about it. You can check what I said about it in the previous videos, especially my March wrap up and my January and February wrap up and haul because that's when I bought this book. By the way, beautiful cover, isn't it? It looks so beautiful in pictures. Go check my Instagram account, it's full of them. So now, what do I have to read for April? Besides that and finishing staying at Daisy's, I plan on participating in the Eerathon Readathon. I will leave the link to the Goodreads group down below. Every month, the first full week of the month, we have a team and we read. And everyone can join, there's an hashtag, everything else. And this month's theme is sci-fi and fantasy. And I find that I have some books uh, in that genre that I haven't read and I'm really curious. So I thought I will take this opportunity to finally read them because I, I own them for quite a while. So what I want to read during the Yearthon readathon is The Fifth Wave by Rick Yancey. According to the reviews, this is a sci-fi post-apocalyptic book. I don't... I think it falls under the sci-fi genre, right? Right, it has aliens, aliens is sci-fi, it's not fantasy. So I'm gonna read this, it, this is a translated Brazilian edition, so it, The Fifth Wave by Rick Yancey, this is gonna be one of the books I want to read. And also another book I want to read that falls into the sci-fi genre? I hope so, I do believe it does. I bought this in 2013, April, in New York, so... <laughs> It's been a long time, so I just I need to get around and read it. Apparently that they're gonna do a movie with it. So that's just another reason for me to read it. And that is Ready Play One by Ernest Klein. I've heard nothing but good things about this book. They say it's fast paced and funny and adventures and all kinds of awesome and just a very good book. So I'm I have high hopes and I don't know anything about the video gaming culture or the 80s pop culture because I was born in the 90s but I've heard reviews from people who are my age and they say even if you don't know a lot of references you can still very much enjoy this book so that's what I'm hoping for uh, I do usually when I don't know something go on Wikipedia or Google and Google it so that's an probably happen here. So that's another book. Another one I will probably try and read during that week, not sure if I can finish it, is Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix by J.K. Rowling. This is the only book that I'm missing in my reread of the Harry Potter series, so I have to read it. Funny enough, I haven't read this book at all, ever. I've watched the movie, so I know a little bit. People say it's like the longest and most boring of them all. I love information though. I love when like in the Goblet of Fire, like they just explain what's going on and like the backstory to it. So I don't know if I will find this as boring as uh, some people did. I'm just really looking forward to it. That being said, I will try to read it, but it, this is a massive book. This is over 750 pages, so it is a long book. I will try and read it. If I don't finish during the earthon, that's not a problem. But I do have some books that, that I have to finish, like the Portuguese book that I have to read for classes. So that's my April TBR. There is no book haul this month because I bought no books except one on Kindle um, that I've read yesterday, the 1st of April, on my phone. This is ridiculous. I stayed up until 6 a.m. last night reading and finishing this book. I read it in a day. I I've, I've dreamed about it, I went and took shower and thought about it, and I just want a sequel, and then it's not fair that a contemporary YA book has a cliffhanger. Not fair. I need, I need conclusion. So what I bought, uh, because it was a surprise, and so I thought, why not? This sounds interesting, everyone says good things about it, and I kind of like contemporary YA. It's like, it's a funny read, and light and good. 
So I read To All the Boys I've Loved Before by Jenny Han. I read it on my phone, actually, because my tablet has run out of battery. And I loved it. Guys, I have no... I cannot. It's like... Oh, guys, I will talk about it in my April wrap-up. I promise. I will probably even, I don't know, do a review or maybe just wait until the next one comes out and then talk about two of them if they are a duology. I hope it's not a trilogy. I'm so done with trilogies and I want the whole story now. Oh god, why did I read it? Now I have to wait until like the end of May to read the next one. I have all the feelings, I understand all the characters, they are so relatable, it's amazing. I will talk about it in my April wrap up for sure, obviously, so you can check it out then what I thought about it. Ha ha ha. But that is it for today, guys. As you know, my all my video stuff is down below, you can check it out if you want to, I would really appreciate it. If you like this video, you can give it a thumbs up or subscribe, and I will see you soon with another video. Bye!